Good morning. Hello. Yeah, good morning. This is my friend James. Hey, nice to see you. Yeah. Haven't seen you in like ages. James, you are a regular southern commuter through the Gatwick areas, right? Yes, correct. And we're here at Victoria today. Yep. And basically you came to me ages ago and told, told me what? That it can be cheaper to split your journey on Oyster between London and Gatwick. He said this is a Oyster split saving money video. Yep. Are you ready? Ready, let's your, do it. Is your Oyster card ready? Where's your Oyster card? Oyster cards. It's ready. At the ready. <laughs> Gatwick Express platform. Yes, we are. But for we're some not. Reason, we're on the, uh, but we're not getting a Gatwick. It's a southern. It's a southern train. It's a Margate service. But it's leaving from what is normally the Gatwick Express platform, yep. which is unusual. All right, loving the wide angle. Yeah. Right. Morning again. Morning. We didn't get a tea or coffee. No. Can I get one at East Croydon? We'll have time because we're we're doing what? We're gonna. Gonna get off this one at East Croydon. At East Croydon. So the thing is, uh, I'll put the correct values on the screen. But off peak, if you get a Victoria to Gatwick train, it costs you about nine pounds something, right? Nine pounds. Yes, on Oyster or Contactless, it's nine pounds. In the peak, it's like twelve pounds something. Yes, roughly. And if you get a Gatwick Express, it's, it's like twenty quid. Twenty, 20 pounds, pounds sixty. 60 like whatever. Any time. Any time. But you think that you can get it cheaper than nine pounds? Yep. If we change at East Croydon. Yeah. So what we've got to do, we've got to get off this train. Get off this train at East Croydon. Yes. Touch out, touch back in again, and then we'll jump on the next train down to Gatwick. And how much money do you think we're going to save? I just tapped in, my Oyster Cup was on 1540. Do you think with the money saved, I'll be able to buy a cup of tea at East Croydon? <laughs> <laughs> You certainly would at some of the places I volunteer at, but uh, right. I'm not sure about at East Croydon with All the right. uh, railway rent. To East Croydon. James, sorry, while we're here, it would be rude not to mention, because you're a regular commuter on this line. Mm -hmm. What is it they've done with three seven sevens? They've turned eight car trains into five car trains? Is that is that what they've done? Yeah, so they've made some eight car trains into five car trains on the southern metro lines. But that does mean that I'm interested in the fact that over there there's a first class area. So on all five car Southern trains with first class, does that mean that they're declassified? It depends on the route they're oh. on. Oh, <laughs> so which, hang on, which routes are declassified and which ones aren't? Do pretty you... much most stopping routes, pretty much nothing south of sort of Purley, so anything like this train to Rygate has got first class. So sort of everything, would it be fair to say sort of everything within zone 6 is probably declassified? Pretty like much most of it. And Some of the Dorking and Horsham trains <laughs> can be. How are you supposed to know? How are you meant to... I GTR? Guess. How are you supposed to know? Which website do you use to check fares? Do you use the official TFL one or do you use uh, oysterfares.com, Mike's site? More so the TFL website. I mean, Mike's website's great. Does an excellent job. Here's the trick. We're going to... Approaching East Croydon. We're going to get off the train, walk up, touch out, do a U-turn, touch back in again. Are you sure I haven't got time to go and get a drink? It is ironic that the money saved in the split are then spent on the drink. I feel like that would add an amusing twist to the video. Okay, hang on, I just saw on mine, I'm paying full fare, your rail card discounted fare. I was yep. £3.80 from Victoria to East Croydon, which is correct, that's the off-peak fare. Yes, correct. So you would have paid how much? What's, Two, a, what's a third off? £2.50. £2.50. Yeah. So, so far, running tally, 3 pounds 80 2 pounds Let's get a drink. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, James, I can't hold my drink and the camera and do my Oyster card all at the same time. Which one? Platform 3, the Little Hampton is the next one. Is that, you were saying that's the one which was after the one we just got at Victoria anyway? Yes it was. At the time we came into Victoria we were just about to miss a southern train to Brighton. So we would have ended up on this little Hampton anyway. James is uh, just there. Uh, 
I love this shot when you put the camera up on high. This video is of course about the Gatwick split, but what I also find interesting is that there are many splits and many complexities down this line, uh, and Gatwick itself is actually a really good place to split. And what I often find is that if I'm going from London to say the south coast Brighton, uh, then I will split my journey often at Gatwick, as in I will buy a Thameslink ticket for the portion to Gatwick, and then a southern ticket from the portion from Gatwick down to the south coast. So splitting your journey at Gatwick, but staying on the same train, uh, is also often a way uh, to get cheaper fares. But uh, this is about splitting at East Croydon to get to Gatwick. Do you think, James, there's like instances where you can like split twice? There might be like double split or triple split journeys. <laughs> oh no! Let us know in the comments. Yeah, do let us know. You can leave the train here, or you may have to pay a penalty fare. So we just got the announcement that Oyster and contactless payments are not valid. Should we go through the validators, or should we... Let's do the barriers. Let's go through the barriers. If you've not seen my video on the uh, Gatwick Improvement Works, and there's a link in that corner right now. You watched that video, James? Yes, I have. Thanks very much. All right, this is it. Exciting moment of truth. How much will it charge to go through the barriers here? Remember, I was on 380 from Victoria to East Croydon. I think it said £3.50. Yep, mine said £2.50. So my balance there is 810. Yeah. At Victoria I started on 1540. Do the maths, James. Seven pounds thirty. Seven pounds thirty by splitting yep. at East Croydon as yep. opposed to nine pounds. So I've saved myself one pound seventy. I paid more for that for my drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should we go outside and uh, break it down? Yes. Let's do that. Uh, James has brought us down to the bus stop area. Uh, yep. just to get away from the airport. Right. Can you remember? This is your, this is your speciality. Can you remember all the numbers? So your travel card was, your, so your Oyster card was on what? My Oyster card was on eleven. What's eleven seventy? And it's now on six ninety. So that's with a third discount because rail card. So that's yep. cost you what in total? Four pounds eighty. And we thought that mine in total was seven pounds thirty because I went down from fifteen down to. Uh, yep. uh, it's on screen now. But it cost me how much in total? Seven pounds thirty. A saving of one pound seventy. But if I was doing that both ways, that saved me three pound forty. Yep. So why, James, does this exist? Why is that split there? Why is it so complicated? Gatwick's a whole complicated thing, <laughs> but uh, because of the cheap affairs for just doing Croydon to Gatwick and and Croydon to London. Although paper tickets can work out cheaper if you're doing a return ticket, especially with Thameslink tickets from here and at Three Bridges as well, which is just outside of Oyster. Was was this the case before Oyster came to Gatwick? Because Oyster came to Gatwick not that long, like a few years back, but presumably before then this, w this wouldn't have been a thing. This wouldn't have been, no, although I think you could have sometimes got a travel card plus a Boundary Zone 6 return and it might have worked out cheaper. Okay, and this presumably can happen in many places, but this is just one that we know about. So it's always worth using a single fare finder and seeing if you can split your... Yeah, your, your have journey. a look at any station that a train, perhaps, that you're travelling on stops at. And I mean, today, for our example, it didn't take us any longer than it would have done yeah. had we have just got straight on that little Hampton train at Victoria. Yeah. So just by setting off ten minutes earlier, and we had enough time to grab a, a tea, and we were able to then jump on the train afterwards. Okay, right, uh, finally, uh, let's just link to, so there's the TFL single, single finder, finder. finder, and there's also Oyster, Oyster Fairs, Mike's site. Mike's site, that's excellent. And he's got a blog and everything, you can, you can read that. Okay, right, uh, I have but one question for you. How are we getting home, and are you splitting your journey? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'm off to go on to my miniature railway now, probably, so uh, it'll be on the bus or on the train. All right, James, wave goodbye to YouTube. Bye. Thank you very much. Thanks for your help. See you again. Let's try See not let's try not leave it another four years. All right. Yep. Agreed. Thanks. Press subscribe. Bye.